Welcome back. I'm Randy Bueller here with Brian David Marshall. We have got quite a final set up. A bunch of storylines colliding. Mike Ron trying to be the first American to win a limited pro tour since Mike Pastilnik. Pretty good point from the American Nightmare. Calling it a very appropriate final in his mind. Mike Ron has been time shifted. Out of oh, the past. Very nice. In theme with Time Spiral. He's returned from the past to uh, claim his rightful place in the top eight. Buckle up. The Pro Tour Geneva Championship match is just 30 seconds away. Hello and welcome to the Pro Tour Geneva Championship match. I'm Randy Bueller here with Brian David Marshall, and we are ready for a fight between the old school and the new school. Mike Ron has been time shifted into this moment. In keeping with the themes of planar chaos and time spiral, Mike, an old school player from Madison, Wisconsin, trying to become the first American to win a limited Pro Tour in fully seven years. His opponent... Takuya Usawa, part of the Japanese vanguard that has absolutely dominated competitive magic for the last three years. Takuya has already won one Pro Tour. He was the champion in Prague last season. He's looking to become the first Japanese player and only the seventh player ever to win two different Pro Tours. Who's it going to be? Okay, Takuya Usawa's deck is coming out kind of the way that it does. Suspend a guy. Suspend a guy. Yeah, I'm try it. Usawa beats with his morph. Ron willing to block. And Usawa adds a... Uh, oddity. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's another deep walker. Scorpion Quartz looms. See the, see the looming. Errant Ephemeron looms. It came out pretty fast, but... Keen here? Yeah, here comes the corpse, here comes the Ephemeron. Very man efficient draw for Usawa. And then here he comes crunching over. Seven unblockable plus a two three. You know, Harad feels obliged just to block. What trick does Atron? Usawa was going right there death stack and damage, but I don't know if Mike was ready to do that because he's got strangling stuff in the corpulent. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yep, strangling stuff for the corp for the corpse. Still seems like Usawa's got the better board position. Absolutely. Dredge Reavers. Ha. Ah. And now he goes and on offense. he all just cracks with it. Wow, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Flashes out of bear. Here, Dormant Sliver. Do you just thin your deck of another land? Gets the Dormant Sliver. Looks like Dormant Sliver. He's got to come up with an answer to Errant Ephemeron, though. I don't see him winning this damage race, right? Is, even, is Tromp even enough? Well, Tromp is more than enough because it's plus five with Stonebreak. Oh, wow. Right, because it gives everything trample. Ah. Then when you attack, it gets the <laughs> plus two bonus from the Stonebrow. Let's take a look. Just Stonebrow, says Mike Rob. No, no counter spells. Grudge Reaver steps in front of Stonebrow. Spectral Force. Nope, Giant Dust Wasp. Oh, there's a flying blocker. Aaron Ephemeron comes over. Does he chump with Dusk Wasp? Or? <clears throat> he's, he's, it's not like he's going to be better if he doesn't chump block, right? I think it comes down to whether he wants to swing with the Dusk Wasp. Well, that's what I mean. Like when he... Osawa's at eight. Right. 
Oh, he also, he's also got the sliver. He can sack to gain three life, right? right? So if Ron is effectively at ten, he can actually take two more ephemeron hits. Yeah, I think you take it there. Well, there was spot number four. And there's the Tysis. Game one goes to Takuya Usawa. Rip the Tysis before, uh, ripped one of his three Tysis before Mike could rip one of his one Trump the Domains. Yeah, that sure looked like swap number four was the key card there, the way the game played out.